All right, so let me talk about this real quick. So today, the Bethesda deal went official. Microsoft did their official press release. So, you know, you know, we got exclusives due to this game coming to Xbox ecosystem. Good news. And, and you know, the reaction has been your usual reaction. Um, the narrative changes. The woe is me. Uh, pity parties. Um, the fake concerns. But then I saw this, and this this one this one caught me off guard a bit. The Xbox haters are trying to take credit for Xbox doing better. Now, mind you, guys, these are people who have at most a couple thousand subscribers, whose podcast at most get a couple hundred views, who on a good day gets a gets like a hundred retweets or so for their dumbass tweets. I promise you, you had no impact on this. You had no impact on a trillion dollar company making the business moves they've been making to secure their gaming. I you know, this delusion that somehow that somehow they were they're the ones whose criticism caused Xbox to do better is 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 downright insane and delusional. And I feel a little stupid given this attention. However, this needs to be said because it's just batshit insane. Listen, the reality is for a lot of us, we're a bunch of nobodies in this community. But even more so than that, we have no impact on these communities at, at large. How the fuck are people who don't buy Xbox games... Who don't play Xbox games, who don't support the the games, who don't play them, and who shit on everything Xbox does, even when it contradicts their own opinion. How does that make Xbox better? How does hating make anything better? Are are you are you one of those people? Are you an investor or or, or anybody that's sitting at that table, huh? When, when, when these deals are being discussed, are are are, are you, did Phil did Phil Spencer have to convince you like he did had to do with uh, Nadala? To take Xbox seriously, you're you you're the one who caused that. Please ex explain that to me. This dumb assery, like this, is just downright stupidity and delusional. <laughs> and it's like, and it's like, okay. The thing is, now that this happened, the same people that are trying to take credit for it are the same ones who's who's going to hate. They hate Bethesda games now. You know they. You know, now, now Bethesda's trash, this, this, and that. So, yeah, so somehow Xbox did better because they listen to people who don't even buy their product. You think, listen to, listen to that. You don't, you don't support it any way possible, but, but somehow the haters made Xbox better. That's so fucking stupid. Can you imagine if somebody said, somebody said, yeah, I, I'm the one who made the Lakers better because I hate, because I hate LeBron. People look at me like, what the fuck are you talking about? No, the Lakers won because they're the best team in the NBA last season. Or or, or, or hey look, I made Tampa Bay better because I hate on the on the Buccaneers. That's how stupid this reasoning is, man. Uh you know, <laughs> it's like you you gotta you gotta use your brain sometimes. And and this is the type of stuff that <laughs> I, it's just like okay, it, it's mind-blowingly stupid. Uh, but what's always worse is that when I see it, and 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 and, and there be dead serious about this kind of stuff, thinking that uh, they they gotta take credit. Xbox did better from people who don't even buy the product, support it, and hate everything they do, talk shit about it all the time. Yeah, that that, that that's how you do better. By contributing absolutely nothing.